Hundreds of teachers packed in the Vigo County Library to give their legislators an earful. In tonight's Education Watch 10, News 10's Dan Klein reports they're hoping it'll create compromise. At a Vigo County Cracker Barrel session that usually brings out a dozen to the library, an estimated 500. Mostly teachers, most here for the first time. Never. <laughs> nope, this is my first one. A month ago, I could have cared less about this. But with several bills currently in the Indiana State House, hundreds are speaking up. 150 wise ones arrived about an hour early to get a seat. Others stand holding signs with strong messages, even more milling outside. Legislators are supposed to represent us and our interests and what we feel passionate about. So I think this is the best way for them to hear our concerns and address them. Shouted interruptions from the audience turn up the heat at times. Finish what we're sharing. Get to the point. And even between the lawmakers themselves. I fail to see your disconnect in understanding that for your business, but not for the school. Hey, Tim, I think this is pretty much uh, basic math here. Senator Tim Skinner was the lone Democrat on the panel of six. Other Democrats, part of a legislative walkout lasting almost three weeks so far, who, even if absent, got the loudest applause. What this crowd does is it, it tells me that they want me to continue doing what I'm doing. But Republicans gathered say the same thing about what this crowd means to them. We knew that we were walking into a bit of a hornet's nest, but at least we came into it and we answered questions. I'll continue doing what's right in my heart and, and, and again, what's right according to the Constitution. Still, some hold out hope for compromise. I hope the representatives, Republican and Democrat, are truly listening to what we're saying. Because, right or wrong, about 500 sent a strong message Saturday. Reporting in Terre Haute, Dan Klein, News 10.